Good evening, good people. Thank you for visiting Bastet's Bowl of Bliss and Intuition. If this is your first time visiting with me, then welcome. Please stay, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on my content. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your loyalty, your love, and your support. Today's reading will speak directly to those of you who are on a spiritual journey, okay? Those of you who are on a spiritual journey, whether you are um, just now entering onto that journey, or if you are on it and maybe feel like you've maybe lost your way, um, you are who I am talking to directly and, um, immensely. Okay. Uh, as I was doing my meditation, one of the things that I saw, well, I actually saw two things. I kept, it kept vacillating between rainbow and rain, rainbow and rain. So I didn't really understand what that was. Um, I understand that the meaning of rainbows pretty much speaks of a new beginning. Um, it's the promise that things are going to get better. Um, and then you think of rain, the th you think of purification, you think of um, nature being fed, you think of new, uh, new life, you know, at least I do. When I think of water, period, whether it's through, you know, lake water, ocean water, rain water, water, period, H2O, reminds me of purification, new life or cleansed life. So um, I don't know if those two things are to be combined or if I was receiving two different downloads. So what I'm going to do is allow the cards to unfold the story for um, you guys. And, you know, you'll know how to place the, you know, the message where it belongs in your life. Um, now, just personally, I feel like I'm speaking to people who are going through that part of the, the journey where, you know, one minute it's hunkadory, it's beautiful, it's, it's, bubbles and rainbows and then with <laughs> within days it is a total disaster oh my god you're stressed out you're depressed because your uh spiritual emotions are fluctuating and going up and down up and down which is so valid it is absolutely normal so for those of you who don't understand what you're going through and you're experiencing those awakening symptoms or you're experiencing some turbulence while on the journey please Please be um, aware that it is valid because the energy that you are taking in your body right now is um, it's very intense, okay? <laughs> it's a very intense energy. Um, you may be feeling lightning bolt type of uh, energies. You may also be achy. You may... You may um, feel like you're being stretched, okay? Stretched or even broken, okay? Some of the aches and pains that you're feeling may even feel like you're being broken in half or broken in two. So I just want you to know that it is very, very normal to feel that. And I keep calling them ascension symptoms because you are being stretched, so to speak, okay? Physically, you're being stretched. Spiritually, you're being stretched, um, all of your all of your chakra points are being um, uh, tested. They're they're being um, fixed, so to speak. Okay, because some people's some people's chakra points are very you know weak and wobbly. So we're all being stretched energetically and vibrationally, and yes, even physically, to be able to move on to new earth. Okay, and this new earth movement is not a one-time thing. It's a procession, okay? It's a procession. So, it, and no, none of us will jump and make these leaps and bounds at the same time. It's different, different um, timing for everybody, different moments, different, different um, levels, different parts of new earth everybody's going to be jumping onto nevertheless we are all being put in a position to get our 3d bodies leveled up enough to make the jump okay so that's what you're feeling okay um be very very careful going to the doctors okay um they're not going to tell you these truths they're probably going to mark you down as having some type of virus or some type of you know, dis-ease or, you know, something where they can, you know, can get paid. They're not going to tell you that, oh, everything's okay. Breathe, eat right, rest, pray, meditate. These are, these are the 
only things you need to do to make it through your ascension symptoms. There's no need to take anything because it's vibratory, okay? Your body will acclimate to your symptoms as needed, okay? Now, can you still take your supplements if you choose to? Keep in mind that suppl supplements are things uh, alternative to what your body is already naturally doing. But if you choose to take supplements, you know, hey, so be it. Um, I will say to, you know, be mindful of eating different meats. And I'm not saying anything that, you know, all other spiritualists are telling you, but just be mindful of flesh at this moment, okay? I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. I support whatever people want to do in their lives. I'm saying be mindful of the flesh intake simply because you, due to the injustices that's being done to Mother Earth right now, every, every being, including animals on Gaia, is being affected by the things that the evil ones, okay, are doing the very nefarious things they're doing to to Earth is absolutely affecting our food. And for those of us who are carnivores, okay, we do eat meat. We have to keep in mind that the animals, okay, are going through extreme, extreme abuse right now, okay, and um, we digest whatever abuse they are taking in when we eat the meat. So just right now, it's just not the time to indulge okay or to overindulge in a lot of flesh okay and i'll just digress on that because i'm not one of the ones that like to tell people what to do or what to eat okay do as you will just be mindful that there is consequences behind everything that we choose to do that is not in alignment with our highest vibration okay so with that being said, let's move forward. I'm just going to pull three cards right off the top and trust that they are accurate and relevant to this reading, okay? The Ace of Pentacles just keeps turning over, okay? So somebody may be, someone may be, may be given material force right now. There could be um, some material gains that you are due okay and then the knight of pentacles came out okay so i'm going to consider knight of pentacles your first card okay but the ace of pentacles turned over twice as i was trying to shuffle the knight of pentacles talks about somebody visiting you very soon with a message okay very soon with a message now i like the knight of pentacles because it talks of some it, it speaks of someone who is very pragmatic, okay, very methodical, slow and easy wins the race when it speaks of the Knight of Pentacles. So um, without even pulling any other cards, I know that this is spirit advising um, those of you that resonate with this message to be very, very slow and um, practical in your movements right now. Don't rush, okay? Do not rush. I believe that I'm specifically talking to um, younger males at this moment. Okay, now this is, I'm speaking to everybody, but in particular, I'm talking to young males. So if there's a young male in your life uh, that you may be... Um, that you may be mentoring or you have a brother or a son or someone, if this, if this is not pertaining to you, then it's pertaining to someone around you and you may just need to pass this message on to them to slow down, okay? Slow down from a spiritual standpoint, slow down, okay? Um, that that toxy-turvy, um, vacillating energy that I tapped into could simply be because you're trying to do too much. You're trying to gain too much information too fast, too quick, too soon, and you're becoming dizzy, okay? You're becoming dizzy, so slow down. Now, the Ace of Cups has come out, okay? Um, I believe that it's you're being you're being advised to slow down um, because you're running over the details. OK, there is security coming in. There is fulfillment coming in. There's answers coming in um, and they're going to come in through someone that's going to offer you help. Um, it may be a situation where 
you think you know it all. So when you are a know-it-all, you're not necessarily open to receive help. Um, so I believe the message here is telling you to slow down. Okay. Slow down, take it easy. Um, and prepare yourself for someone or something to come in that's going to offer you some help. Okay. That's going to offer you some help. This Knight of Pentacles again speaks of a message coming in. Okay. So somebody's coming in to assist you with this part, this part of the journey. However, you may be tripping over your own feet, so to speak. Okay. So again, slow down. It's okay to not know right now. It's okay to be in a suspended state of, of, um, not stuck cause you're not stuck. Uh, I believe it's just time to fall back because whatever it is that you are trying to pull in or whatever information you are wanting to know, you can't bogart your way into knowing that the only way you're going to get it is to calm down, slow down, and then allow the the universe to bring in this help okay because the ace of cups is a cup of help it's the cup of fulfillment it's the cup of answers it's the cup it's the cup that's being hit, given to you uh from the universe okay so and in that cup are your answers okay your cup of runneth over with all that you need but if you don't slow down okay and allow the art of receiving okay to you know, uh, uh, to, 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 to rain on you, then you won't even, you will run all the way over that cup. Okay. You will miss the opportunity to get what it is that you keep trying to bogart into your life. You don't have to bogart it. There's something or someone uh -oh, that is going to come in and give you the help, the, the answers, the understanding that you need. Okay. The seven of wands has come out. <clears throat> You're going to overcome something, okay? I believe you're frustrated. Um, and, and the journey will do this to you. The journey is very well known for causing disappointments and frustrations and... Um, uh, um, because when you don't, when you know that there is something for you to understand, but you just can't grasp it or you don't know what it is, it is very easy to become um, dismantled by that, okay? Because when you're in search of knowledge and wisdom, it's almost like you grow a whole nother belly that becomes hungry for knowledge, hungry for enlightenment okay and you don't know how to turn that off and on okay but see you're not moving in the physical realm when you are gaining this knowledge and this wisdom and this enlightenment you're moving in the spiritual realm you don't have control over that so it's almost like you have to humble yourself okay and in the process of humbling yourself it will feel like who can I trust? What can I trust? Everything's coming against me, okay? So sometimes you'll turn, sometimes you will have things not coming against you, testing you, but your mindset will be, oh, everything's coming against me, okay? So I, th I believe that this is a warning to pay attention to that mindset. Don't take on the energy of people questioning you or people not believing you right now or people even laughing at you or people even picking and hating, okay? Don't look at that as, um, don't, try not to have a negative mindset about it. Try not to use that energy as everybody's against me. Look at that energy as I'm being tested is what I is what I'm defending tried and true because you you may find out that knowledge that you are trying to defend is actually outdated knowledge or it's 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 not useful okay because a lot of times when you're on this journey you'll learn so much it's so quick that you forget to take time out to uh what's the word 
to withdraw. Uh, no, that's not the word I want to use. To release useless knowledge, okay? What you learned at the beginning of the journey may change, may differ, or may no or may no longer be useful by the time you make it to the middle of the journey, okay? So anyway, I, I think I've said a lot, but just to just to reiterate on how the seven of wands plays into the two cards that are already here. I believe that there's a possibility you may be frustrated okay because you're at a part of your journey where you don't okay which way do I go what do I do what do I say what are they saying this they saying that they laughing at me they don't believe me you know you're going through the motions of trying to get back to or get back in alignment with the assignment of self and you're being encouraged and warned to not take anything personal okay i said all that <laughs> to circle back around just to say don't take anything that the other people outside of you are saying or doing personal it's all a test okay the universe is testing you um to see where you're at okay where where are uh, spiritually are you mature enough to move further on this journey okay i hope everyone is keeping up with what i am saying if this message is resonating with you please hit that like button okay the knight of swords has come out okay so a lot of times the knight of swords is very um impulsive okay in his in his or her decision making uh simply because they're they're running on logic okay and yes logic is a beautiful thing when it is needed but a lot of times on the spiritual journey logic is not the solution okay because there's nothing logical about the spiritual journey a lot of times it's not going to make any sense there's no logistics in the spiritual realm okay because there's time isn't linear nothing is is set in stone uh there is no set particular formula the thing is constantly changing moving going flowing in out up down around there is no set um pace or or space okay when it comes to the spiritual journey so this knight of swords lets me know matter of fact the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles lets me know that i'm definitely talking to a person who is new onto the journey you are a baby onto the journey you are very young minded um spiritually immature but you may be presenting yourself like you know more than you really know and you don't and i think the warning um that i'm hearing okay connected to that seven of one seven of wands warning is again slow down you don't know everything that you need to know everything that you do know not all of it is conducive to where you're going so i'm hearing inventory i'm hearing the word inventory take time out to release things that no longer serve you and that's not just people a lot of times people say that and they think that's only relating to letting people go or places go no that's also letting go of useless knowledge okay because you have to make room the program is constantly updating okay you have to make room for the most current most accurate information okay and i believe that this knight of swords is telling me that i'm speaking to someone possibly air signs okay that's foraging ahead and you're you are um you're you're foraging ahead with 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 what you think is logical answers and logical so like the know-it-all okay that's that that's what i'm hearing i mean i'm trying to tiptoe around it because i don't like to offend people but if you are listening to this message and you've and you've made it to this point of the message i don't want you to think that i am picking on you or 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 discounting what you know however if you are a baby on this journey okay and does it doesn't have anything to do with age because you could be somebody in the 50s but if you just started this journey then you are a baby on the journey okay 
There are people who are in their late 20s that have been on the journey longer than somebody that's in their late 50s. They will be considered an elder on the journey because they've been on the journey longer, even though they haven't been alive longer. So don't look at age. When I, when I, when I say a baby, I'm, I'm speaking of your spiritual maturity, okay? But somebody's, somebody's moving too quickly uh, based on the logic or the, the or the logistics that they think they have about the spiritual journey and i believe and i'm not sure what the next card is going to be that comes out but i believe that you don't have enough information to move forward the way you think you can move forward i'm also hearing that maybe somebody's trying to teach and you don't know enough to be trying to teach people. That might be why you have these people that are coming against you because they're saying, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how you know. And that aggravates you. That frustrates you that people don't listen to what you're saying. People are not uh, taking you seriously. Some are laughing. Some are not listening at all. Some don't give you the time of day. And some question and challenge you. And that makes you mad, okay? But I'm hearing that the reason you're angry is because deep down, you don't know enough to be teaching anyone anything. So slow down. There is someone or something coming in to give you a cup. And in that cup is going to have answers, understandings, enlightenment, solutions, insight, okay? All the things that you think you have now, there is someone or something coming in to give that to you properly and accurately, okay? <clears throat> but yes, I feel like I'm speaking to, um, I could be speaking to young earth signs and young air signs. Now, clearly the message is for anybody that feels this, okay? It doesn't have to be earth, doesn't have to be air. It could be any being that is resonating with this message, then yes, this is your message, okay? But I am seeing energetically that I'm speaking to earth, possibly earth males and air sign males, okay? I'll show you. The five of swords. And it just goes right along with what I'm already seeing. You're feeling like, you're feeling like, well, I believe that you've become argumentative about the information that you do have and you're cutting people with your tongue right now, okay? People who are questioning what it is that you believe and what you're saying and what you know, um, they may not necessarily be where you're at and you're not patient with them, you're not understanding them, or you're not, or, or it's not that you're not understanding, because I think you feel like you're on a higher level or you've elevated higher than them. So you try to force what you think you know onto them, forgetting that you were once, you were once, uh, you know, living blissfully in your ignorance as well, okay? And what's happening is you, you're starting arguments with people about spirituality, okay? Because that's what the Five of Swords speaks of. It speaks of, of, it speaks of really cutting people uh, when there's no need or cutting people out when when you don't have to do this so i'm hearing that you've probably cut people off that you feel like are not on your level okay or you're saying things to them that's making them move away from you okay almost like nobody wants to be bothered with you now because you think you know it all you think you have it all figured out and you haven't been on this journey long enough to know anything okay um you know what you know and you're and no one's discounting what you know but you don't know enough to try to lead the flock so to speak okay and i believe that that's what you're doing you're running up on people you're you're stating what you feel what you believe what you think you know and when people try to when people combat that or when people don't receive it how you want them to receive it, you get mad. You become verbally abusive, okay? That's what I'm seeing, okay? And you're trying to defend information that may not necessarily even be updated or accurate, okay? Okay. And look, this is not a, this is not a basher to the young. This is not bashing young energies that are that are on the journey now okay what this is is a lesson that you're going to have to learn to temper 
your need to tell everybody what you think is the truth out here, okay? Meaning everybody is entitled to believe what they want to believe, okay? And a lot of times when we tap into truths, a lot of times those truths are just for you. It's not for you to run and tell the world. It's not for you to scream it from the top of the mountain. Um, you'll know if you're supposed to share your truths with others because they will come directly into your atmosphere as an assignment, okay? They will seek your knowledge and they will seek you to give them knowledge. However, if you're not being sought after to teach or to preach, then nine times out of 10, what you're learning is for you and your journey only, okay? So just keep that in mind. Again, you don't have to stronghold or force information onto people. If it is for them to learn it from you, you will know, okay? Because they will present themselves in, like I said earlier, in, in an assignment uh, type of way, okay? They'll come to you di directly. They'll be drawn to you. But that's not what's happening here. What I see happening is you are cutting people with your words and what you think you know, and it's causing people to walk away from you, okay? Causing people to walk away from you. I know you're under, uh, uh, I, uh, tongue tied. I know that you are excited. I understand that. Okay. I believe all of us, when we come through that dark night of the soul and we enter on to that awakening journey and you're learning and receiving information, you really want to just tell the whole world about it. But again, a lot of the times you can't. Okay. That's why, uh, that's why it was done in such a discreet and in an occult manner, uh, prehistorically, okay? Um, there was a time when sharing this kind of knowledge, okay, even if you just had a little bit of it, would get you murdered, would get you killed, would get you burned at the stake, okay? That's why it was called secret societies. That's why people went into monk mode, okay? Uh, uh, and, and, and went into the caves or went onto the mountains and learned this, learned the knowledge that we now freely can learn via internet. Um, but they did it discreetly and, and secretly. Okay. And the only reason I brought that up is you have to remember that not everybody is going to even believe what's been told to you because it's not for them. It's a secret that was revealed to you. Okay, so a lot of times the universe will put you in a position where people around you will um, refuse what you know because they're not supposed to know the secret. Okay, and with you revealing a secret, okay, um, it, it can come off as being intrusive or you're going to sound completely crazy to people who are not supposed to even have access to the secret. Okay, so I'm hearing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull more cards. I wouldn't be shocked if the Hierophant or the um, high priestess comes out. But um, the energy that I'm feeling is get back to old traditional ways, meaning this has to go back into, a, we have to go back into a time where we respect discretion, okay? Your lips have to be sealed on certain parts of knowledge that you are receiving. Not everything is to be told, okay? And I also heard that not everything is to be sold. So if you are trying to, start a service where you're charging people to teach them this uh, information that you now have, you're wrong and it's not going to go how you think it's going to go, okay? It's not going to go how you think it's going to go. So I'm not sure, of course, that's for some all few of you if you are trying to uh, start some type of spiritual service and you're charging people, that's, ooh, you are so far from the assignment that um, you may get set in the corner for that one. Okay, so just, you know, make sure that you are speaking with your higher self and your guides and your angels and your ascended masters before you move forward with doing that, if you are doing that, okay, because I'm seeing that that is not what you're supposed to be doing and you could block yourself or put yourself in a situation where you're cut off from the knowledge if you are doing it in that manner, okay? Because you're not, whoever I'm speaking to, you are not supposed to be offering this for monetary gain, okay? For monetary gain. But yeah, traditional, traditional, um, traditional 
patterns need to be um, respected for for this particular journey that you're on, whoever I'm speaking to. It's almost like spirit is saying, stop talking, seal your lips, okay? Respect the occult part of this, okay? And just keep in mind, occult only means hidden, okay? That's it. Don't feed into nothing else you've heard about the word occult, okay? Hidden, sacred knowledge. We have to get back to that because too many people are running around trying to teach and they're still being taught themselves, okay? Now, the sun card has come out. The sun card has come out. Now we're speaking of revelation okay something has been revealed to you and it, it you are quite happy behind what you know okay um i think it has caused you to feel very victorious you are reconnecting and relinking with a very youthful energy with inside yourself uh, i feel like i'm speaking to someone who possibly did not have a healthy childhood based on um the father not being in the home okay and maybe that caused you to feel splintered or fragmented or you just didn't have a full sense of self okay but something that you've learned something that you've come into some knowledge some clarity some success some 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 bright prospects have come into your life and you've been fed okay oh ashe i get it so this this energy here when i told you that someone's coming in Someone will be coming in to share information with you that will give you better understanding of what you think you already know. I believe it's going to be a male energy, okay? Possibly Leo energy or somebody with very big Jupiterian energy, somebody with um, somebody very knowledgeable. It could be your father. Some of you, you may be reuniting with your father, okay? Some of you may be meeting someone who has a very authoritative energy and they are going to be in a position to give you this cup, this knowledge, this fulfillment, okay? This understanding of what you thought you already knew somebody's going to come in and actually give you the game okay somebody's coming in to give you the business and everything that you thought you knew is going to go out the door because this son individual is going to tell you some stuff and teach you some stuff that's going to make you say oh my god like wow Okay, they're gonna give you some knowledge. They're gonna they're gonna give you real deal, um, divine masculine knowledge. Okay, now that doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking to a female or a male. Okay, I'm saying somebody's gonna come in. Uh, I'm sorry, doesn't mean I'm talking specifically about a female or a male. This is which I'm speaking of energy. Could, it could be a male. Uh, for a lot of you, but it also could be a female who just embodies divine masculine energy, okay? Divine masculine energy. Somebody who is um, very um, <clears throat> tapped in, tuned in, and probably works directly with photon energy. Somebody who is a solar being, okay? Meaning that they might they might spend a lot of time out in the sun. So they could be a gardener, they could be a farmer, they could be um somebody that just works outside. I believe that the person that I'm speaking to that's going to come into your life, okay, and give you this game whether it's a father, an uncle, a a very masculine woman, just someone with um, very high solar energy is going to come in and into your life and give you information that is going to help you understand the information that you already have. Because I, I, I'm thinking or I'm feeling that w the information that you have that you keep trying to, you know, forge and force onto other people, you don't know the... You don't necessarily understand it in its totality. So somebody or something is going to come in and pour into you, okay? And that's a beautiful thing because I can tell that you probably don't know that you need help because, again, you think you, you, think you know it all or you think you know enough and you don't. But 
your spirit guides are really leading and guiding you, whether you know it or not. And they see that you are losing friends, losing family, people. You think you're cutting people off, but people are really cutting you off because you're too forceful with the information and you're, you're trying to force it down people's throats. And that's not the way your spirit guides want you to share their information or the portion of the information that they want you to share. Because I did pick up that it's a lot of the information that you have or that you're receiving that they don't want you to share. But the portion that is okay to share, the part of your light that you are to shine on, on to other people, you don't necessarily know how to do that without burning them, okay? And um, a lot of times, I mean, yes, the spiritual journey, you can often feel lonely because you're learning things that the, that the masses don't know. OK, and it can it can sometimes and often does make you feel alone. But in your case, whoever's resonating with this message, you're not at that point. You're feeling you're going to start feeling alone because you're pushing people away. You're, you're being argumentative. You're being combative. You're not being kind. You're not being considerate. You're not being compassionate. You're being forceful and very um, <laughs> asshole about the information that you've known, that you've found out or that you're learning, okay? And it's only because you're excited and you don't know how to temper that energy. You don't know how to, you don't know how to um, categorize and compartmentalize what you're learning, okay? Indeed. But you've most definitely tapped into a new um, a new cycle. OK, there's a renewal of energy that that's that's on its way into you. So you're about to level up. OK, because the uh, ambition and the passion that you have behind what you know, it just it's just misguided. It's misdirected. You don't know what to do with it. So you're again, I have to use the word the spirit is telling me to use. You're forcing it on to other people, but it's only because you're excited, which leads me to think I could also be talking to an Aries person because you're very, I'm feeling very impulsive energy. I'm feeling like you are forceful and, 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 um, excited and, and, and very passionate because this is, this is, this is, um, what's the word? It's, it's, it's intense, heightened energy. Okay. It's intense, heightened energy. You're learning some spiritual, um, knowledges and wisdoms that you've never known before. Again, you're still new on the journey and there's so much more for you to learn that if you don't learn to temper how you're receiving and what you're receiving, then you might hit a brick wall, okay? So it goes back to what I said in the very beginning, which is slow and steady, okay? Pragmatic, methodical, um, and just very relaxed with the with 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 how you are remembering and recollecting the ancient knowledge that has been revealed unto you. Okay. <clears throat> I hope this is making sense to whomever. So the page of pentacles has come out. Understanding that you are a student. Okay, you are not prepared to be a teacher yet, okay? The Page of Pentacles speaks directly to the student in all of us, okay? The young, studious, ready, willing to, to, to embark and bask in new opportunities, okay? So be okay with being a student, okay? You don't always have to learn information so you can become this master teacher. Actually, we should all always become um um return to being a student no matter how much you know never never stop knowing okay and that goes back into when i was saying that sometimes what you learn at the beginning of your journey may not be conducive or useful for the middle or the end or other parts of the journey which puts you back in student mode doesn't matter what you've mastered. What matters is what you've continued to learn and learn and learn and learn. And that's what this page of pentacles is coming out for. It's, it's telling you to stop being so determined and, and dogmatic about being a teacher. Somebody's really trying to teach other people and you are really forcing what you think you know on other people. And a few of you are trying to charge people. 
No, 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 no. That's that brick wall that you're definitely going to hit. Now, the justice card has come out. Um, somebody may be dealing with some legal issues, okay? Somebody may be dealing with some legal issues. That may even be how you ended up on this journey, okay? I believe that you may have endured something that caused a life path change. And in the process of you seeking knowledge on this uh, legal situation, okay, um, you have tapped into some higher knowledge. So, so for a few of you, you tapped into this journey um, through dealing with some type of physical legal situation, okay? <clears throat> and then for a few of you this is um this is a journey that you you know got on to and it's call it's 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 balancing your scales so to speak or it's bringing about justice within your duality okay maybe you used to be the kind that ran the streets so you were a gangster or you were a thief or you just lived a very different uh, worldly carnal life and you've turned your life you've changed your life over and now you are you know tapping into being you know the best uh human you can be okay you've tapped into your higher self so this justice card is just um speaking of somebody or who he, who is balancing their scales through learning how to easily navigate in their spiritual self now okay in their spiritual self Two of Wands, <clears throat> movement. Um, I feel as if this Two of Wands is coming. I think I may be speaking to somebody who wants to move closer to water. You work very well with water, okay? Um, you, may, you may feel more spiritually connected when you are connected to large bodies of water okay large bodies of water and earlier when i said that i i picked up on you working with somebody or somebody of authoritative energy is going to come in and give you information give you wisdom give you insight and enlightenment and they and they work outside okay they work they till the earth or they work with you know they're they're a gardener or something that they do and they're always outside i picked up on that energy about water as well okay and then this two of wands has come out which always to me denotes that it's somebody who will be working with or moving to or just does something with water so you know you could be um working with or be or maybe being introduced to or you could be a person who works directly with water okay but I do know that this is talking to somebody who you may have even just recently relocated to somewhere where you could be closer to water. I'm feeling that. Or you're thinking about it, okay? Somebody wants to move closer to the beach. Somebody wants to move closer to the coastline. You want to have access to the water. So I'm hearing that some of you some of you may work with water deities. Yemega, Oshun, Poseidon. I mean, your work somebody works with water masters, water ascended masters of the waters. Okay. Dolphins. I'm feeling dolphins, okay? <clears throat> Yep, somebody works directly with sea creatures. You may have even begun to dream about seahorses, okay? Whales, deep deep sea creatures, okay? Could be speaking to a Piscean person, okay? I feel like I'm speaking to a, a Pisces person. Yeah, but somebody 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 has either moved or will be moving and you specifically made a decision to move closer to water. Okay, your move was solely based on I want to be on the beach or I want to be closer to the coast. I want to be closer to a sea. You want to have access to the waters. Water means a lot to you. 
water means a lot to you. And again, it could be also that this person that is coming in to hand you this cup that will have answers and understandings in it, they also may be um, someone who works the land, okay? Because you can't work with land without working with water. So like I said, it could be a farmer, it could be a gardener, it could be somebody that owns a botanical, okay? Because they work directly with water too. Could be a conservationist, okay? Somebody who works in the in, in, the, in the environment of water. Did I say they're right, a conservationist? <laughs> I think that's I think that's somebody that works with plants and water and just deals directly with the with the ecosystem. Okay. I'm liking this reading. Temperance. Yes, 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 yes. I knew this card was gonna come out when I kept speaking about the balance, okay? I kept speaking about the balance and, and learning how to temper all of this information that you are receiving and learning how, what to do with it versus just taking it and running up on people with it. This is teaching you or telling you to learn how to um, be very balanced, okay? Take, taking those cups and pouring that water and without spilling any of it, okay? Being very tempered in your information and how you reveal it and unfold it to other people, okay? Test and then and then it's also speaking on learning how to test the waters, okay? So I feel like I'm speaking directly to somebody who is a water baby. And when we when I say test the waters, meaning you keep you keep you keep yourself just enough on truths and just enough in spirituality, okay, where you're not pulled too far left or right in either one, learning how to remain very neutral. So I believe that I, I know that I'm speaking to somebody again, and I'm just reiterating because now the message is just repeating itself, that I'm speaking to somebody who has, 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 has learned so much, so quick, so soon. Okay. And I think you've been pulled so far in it. Okay. Um, you've just let yourself fall down in that rabbit hole and you're learning so much so quick so soon that it's overwhelming you and that's one of the reasons why when you talk to people now you can't even have a normal conversation because you're trying to force all of this rabbit hole information that you're learning onto them and you're sounding a little ridiculous because, again, some of these people are not ready to even know this information. Some people are going to test this information that you say you know. Some are just looking at you like, if you don't shut the F up, because they don't even care about the knowledge, okay? So what's what you want, the warning that's coming out, what I'm hearing is come back into alignment with yourself. You're out of alignment. You are so far over into the rightness that you are nowhere near the left. And you got to understand how to stay balanced in this. One foot on the left, one foot on the right. And you have to dance that dance, that beautiful dance of duality. You're going to have to learn how to keep your feet neutral. Okay, because what's happening now is you are taking your feet and you're running all the way to the right or you're either running all the way to the left when you really need to learn how to jog right there in the middle, which goes back to the very first card that comes out that came out when I spoke on the slow and steady. Okay, learning how to um, move in a way that you're not um, doing too much. Okay, only because, again, you're still a baby yourself. You've taken the knowledge that you've learned and out of the excitement and the passion of learning it, you've taken it and, and, and I just always hear the word force every time I get ready to explain your energy and what you're doing with this information. You're forcing it energetically. You're forcing it mentally. You're forcing it emotionally, spiritually, and verbally. I think I already said that. But you're forcing this, you're forcing yourself onto people with this information. And it's coming off as you're being a creep. 
okay? Or creepy or a weirdo. Those are the words that just kind of channel through me. You're being a little weird about it. A little spooky. It's, you know, you're coming off with spookism, okay? And people don't want to hear it. And I think when they tell you they don't want to hear it or when they question you, you're becoming offended. And then that's when you go into that five of swords mode and you're ready to just cut people. And you're the seven of wands energy. You're arguing with people and trying to defend your position. And, you know, it's and, 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 and every time, whether it's the seven of wands or the five of swords, Every time you're still the one looked at as the crazy one. It's not them. Because everybody's looking at you like, man, so get this motherfucker my he doing too much. Okay. And in that seven of wands energy, they're looking at you and they're saying, Okay, we're not even debating what you what you feel. You feel that, that's fine, but you can't make us feel it. But you but you feel like people are coming against you and fighting with you because you know they don't want to receive your truth when in our reality it's not their truth it's your truth okay it's your truth i'll pull one more card to go along with this temperance card but i'm glad that that is one of the cards that that came out toward the end because it really just sums up what i was really trying to say throughout this whole message is moderation okay 